Hello everyone, my name is Amelia Ray and I am a junior at Wheaton College, majoring in political science. My internship site was all in energy and I served as their data transition intern this semester. On a cold and rainy morning this past February, I distinctly remember gazing out from my kitchen window in Austin and observing the monochromatic outside world. A dreary and gray site interrupted only by the glowing red letters of the CVS pharmacy across the street. The cold, damp air seemed to seep through the edges of the window, causing me to shiver and cross my arms in a fruitless attempt to stay warm. At that moment, I was hit with an overwhelming sense of loneliness and desolation, and I thought to myself, why on earth did I decide to do this? To say the least, this scene was quite a contrast to the environment I was in only a week before. In the warm, 80 degree weather, surrounded by vibrant green mountains and stunning flowers in my home in the Virgin Islands. While the contrast between Massachusetts and the VI in the depths of winter has always been difficult for me to reconcile, the shock to the system I felt upon arrival in Boston was something I had never experienced before. While I had visited Boston quite often, I had never realized the truth of what it means to live here. I felt completely untethered at first, at first as I tried to navigate the tea and make a life for myself completely alone. I longed for the sense of security I had built for myself at Wheaton and the feeling of community that I experienced at home. In those early hopeless moments, I realized that in order to make this experience work, I needed to find a way to find a way to build a new sense of belonging and community. But I also knew it was going to take a lot of hard work and exploration for my efforts to be successful. And so, in the moments I had off from my internship or from classes, I began to explore. I set out to do everything that I had envisioned doing before I came to Boston. I began to take long walks, walking as much as 12 miles over the course of some weekends as I tried to soak up as much of the city as possible. I went to the North End, I went to Seaport, I explored Boston Common and Harvard Square. And as I went on these adventures, I began to feel myself relax and feel more sure of myself in the city. As I became more confident and comfortable with navigating around Boston, I began to also explore other things I had previously been uncomfortable with. Namely, being more brave in social situations and in friendships. I have always had a hard time making friends due to considerable shyness, and that struggle followed me to Wheaton. I vowed to myself that I needed to be more proactive in seeking out friendships this time around. And with this in mind, I began to say yes to any invitation I received. While this was incredibly uncomfortable at first, it was simultaneously very rewarding. Little by little, I began to reconstruct the sense of comfort and security I needed to thrive. And through these experiences, Boston became my new home, filled with beautiful memories and experiences I hope I will never forget. I'm beyond grateful that I allowed myself the chance to enjoy my time here in Boston, and I know all the lessons I've learned here on how to move through the world and how to make life worth living in the face of ambiguity will continue to influence me for the rest of my life. Thank you.